Hello everyone, so it's Saturday the 22nd of May, uh, the weekend and I don't know if you can hear in the background um, but uh, everyone's been allowed out to play now so the pubs are open and some karaoke going on in the background I do believe some awful singing, um, people having fun so yeah, um, I don't know if the uh, camera's going to pick it up but anyway, uh, if you are new to the channel um, nice to join us and welcome and if you're regular, welcome back so tonight, hopefully, I'm going to finally capture something using my new camera, the ZWO ASI 533MC Pro. I nearly got tongue tied there. Um, I'm having a drama saying all that in the morning. Anyway, I've been itching to get out and use this for quite a while now, but the, the weather has just been absolutely awful, to be honest. And in fact, the last time I was out was when I used my EQ6R Pro. Um, for the first, well, properly for the first time. So that's been quite a while. I think someone up there doesn't actually like me now, because every time I get a new bit of gear, uh, the clouds seem to rock up for weeks at a time and I can't use it. It happened with the mount, uh, it's happened with the camera, it happened with the filter, I don't believe. Anyway, so tonight I'm not expecting a great night of astrophotography, to be honest. Uh, it's gonna be partly cloudy. I'm probably gonna get maybe an hour, two hours max. Um, <laughs> Unless I get really lucky. The moon is going to be quite high as well. I am quite illuminated as well. I believe in the region of 80%. Uh, but to be honest, the aim tonight isn't to get a great image, although that would be awesome. Um, don't we all want a great image? But uh, it's more to just make sure I'm happy with everything's running, specifically with the camera. Uh, make sure I'm happy of how I'm doing stuff. And uh, yeah, basically just a practice run, to be honest. So my. <laughs> My expectations ain't that high for tonight, um, so I won't be too disappointed, I don't think. Anyway, I'm going to finish setting up my rig, because I haven't finished yet, uh, quite a bit to do yet. Uh, and then what I'll do is go inside and talk a bit more about the camera, and a little bit about the tank I'm catching tonight, so we'll see you in a bit. So, sort of set up, uh, I have pulled aligned, it's, well, I'm going to double check it because I, I think it was a little off. Um, haven't set up the laptop as yet, I've still got to do that and connect it up, but I thought I'd uh, just come in and have a chat about the camera. So, why the 533? I couldn't remember it there. Yeah, why, why the 533? So bit of a mistake to be honest uh, I was going after the 183 and it wasn't in stock in the shop that I was uh, buying it from and they recommended this camera so I took it some good reviews out there um, on the ZWO website uh, Mr Jones from Astro Backyard he does a, a review on it uh, also Q with the Lazy Geek he, he done a pretty good review on it as well he um, tested this camera out in the uh, white zone in Tokyo and if you don't know what I mean by white zone it's the worst light pollution you can get it's bad <laughs> I don't think it's the best match for my red cat or my Zenith Star uh, 61 that I'm using tonight um, it's a quite small square pixel um, I suppose what I'm used to where uh, I'm, I'm sort of like a classic rectangle shape uh, I'm very technical on this channel, squares and rectangles. Uh, but yeah, it's a bit, um, yeah, very different. And I think it's probably going to sacrifice some of the, the good field of view that them two scopes have. Um, I did initially buy this for, and if you've been watching my channel lately, you'll know that I'm after the Esprit 120. When I'm going to get it is another question. Uh, it's quite an expensive scope. Uh, but when I do eventually get it, uh, uh, that's what I was aiming for, um, to use that 
this camera with that scope. Anyway, I'm going to uh, hop on to Solarium now. I'll show you the differences because I've put all the um, sort of details of uh, my 77D uh, that I've been using for the last couple of years and uh, the 533 and just so you can see the difference. Yeah, so here we are in Stellarium. Uh, the area night sky we're going for tonight is the big frying pan in the sky. And if you don't know what I'm on about, I'm on about the plow or the big dipper if you like. And we're going for one side of the uh, pan on the layer. I'm going to go for this beauty here. The pinwheel galaxy. So I've already got an image of this uh, that I spent an, uh, I think a couple of nights on not long back. Uh, and I don't normally uh, go to the same object so close to each other. Um, however, I just I think it'd be good for a comparison uh, because I did take it with uh, my 77D, my modified DSLR. Okay, so there's my 77D. Um, and this is the scope I'm using tonight, the Zenistar 61. That's what it's going to roughly look like with the DSLR. So if I compare this with the 533MC Pro, as you can see there's a big difference. With the 183, I was told there might be um, some vignetting. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to get some vignetting or not. Uh, this is all part of the discovery for tonight. Um, I want to see what's going to happen. And I'm eventually going to see what's going to do with the Red Cat as well. Now, if you saw the video where I used my EQ6 for the first time, I did a 7 minute exposure unguided with the Red Cat, and I, I was doing 5 minute with this scope that I got on tonight. However, it does look like it's going a bit further into space, uh, so I'm I'm not sure if I'm going to get away with the five minutes. Uh, you know, I um, might get lucky. But yeah, quite a difference, uh, wouldn't you say? Um, if I can't get the five minutes, then you know, so be it. I'll, I'll try three minutes maybe, or four minutes. If I have no luck there, then uh, I'll probably have no choice but to start guiding um, sooner rather than later. Uh, but like I said, we'll see. So the Pinwheel Galaxy, it's... Uh, I believe it's, it's roughly 21 million light years away. Uh, the constellation's in. This whole constellation here is uh, Ursa Major. And it's it's one of my favourite galaxies, to be honest. It's really nice. So here we are on the ZWO website. Now, I'm not going to go into too much depth about this because, uh, to be honest, I, I don't really know what I'm talking about. I have to be honest. I'm not going to lie. Um, for obvious reasons, I, I'm never use this camera <laughs> um, not properly anyway uh, so yeah this it's like I said it's quite comparable to the 183 on the website and there's uh, loads of information here stuff that I wish I'd learned before I bought the camera uh, so I think I might have got lucky um, and there's a review on here from Trevor Jones like I mentioned uh, the other thing that I'm not used to is spacing I had bit of a drama to be honest uh, today I'm um, getting the right back focus uh, I'm not gonna tell you why because I think it'll spoil the uh, next video that I'm wanting to do something else I'm not used to the sensor temperatures uh, obviously the, it's a cool camera um, very new to me the dark current versus the temperature so cool it gets less the uh, what well, noise you're going to get really, to be honest. So that was quite interesting and um, good to see. Uh, lots to think about, lots to learn. But uh, I suppose I had to take the leap eventually. All right, my eyes have gone funny. Should have worn my glasses and just sitting there, never mind. Uh, so I am going to crack on, uh, get the laptop hooked up, get it set away, um, get it connected up to the uh, desktop here. Hopefully everything goes nice and smooth um, and uh, yeah, have a good run. So again, I'll, uh, I'll do that and I'll uh, speak to you in a bit. Two hours worth, done. I uh, didn't get two hours, I don't think. I started to get a little overcast, a little cloudy on the last few exposures. Uh, five minute exposures. 
not looking too bad, to be honest. It does look, don't look too bad. Some good detail on the Galaxy. A little bit of trailing on the edges though. I'm going to put that down to the fill flat now. Uh, I had to adjust it earlier. I mentioned uh, with the space, I had to do some space and I had to adjust the fill flat now. So I'm going to put it down to that. Uh, I don't know, what do you reckon? I think it's that. Not a bad image at all. I'm going to be cropping it out. I suppose proof will be in the pudding once I've uh, stacked it together, put it through Photoshop. Bit of a ropey start. <laughs> the laptop again, um, connection issues. Uh, I was about to well, press play on the sequence um, and the computer just couldn't start sequence due to couldn't connect with the camera. Again, uh, it worked a couple of days ago. Um, I do not understand it. So I wasn't willing to mess around. Uh, I dragged it out of the equation totally um, and I reverted back to my original plan of running my repeater cable through the kitchen window and through the hallway. A little messy, but I do not care. It got me weight imaging tonight. Uh, so yeah, it is what it is. I, I honestly don't understand it. Uh, I suppose it'll come in the, out in the wash eventually. Weather been pretty good tonight, uh, to be honest. Um, I've got more exposure than what I was expecting. To be honest, so I, uh, the weather has been odd lately. It's, I've never seen so much hail in one year. It's been nuts. <laughs> really has been like really weird. The weird weather. Hopefully, I won't have to wait too long to use this equipment again. As long as the weather stays away, hopefully I don't have to wait another two weeks to use it. I uh, really want to get my teeth sucking in there and uh, get used to using the system, this, uh, this equipment. The more I use it, the more I'm going to become more fluid in using it um, and hopefully get uh, better images. Uh, and again, adding equipment into the equation, that'll be a, yeah, another learning curve. I suppose that's the leap you've got to take sometimes, you know, um, if you want to up the game, uh, you've got to take take the leap um, and uh, get out the comfort zone. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling on, I'm, I'm, I must be getting tired because I'm starting to waffle on and talk too much. Thank you very much for all the subscribers uh, lately, uh, I've noticed I've had a, a, quite a few today, to be honest, but uh, over the last few days, uh, last week, Thank you very much, um, much appreciated, just go unnoticed at all. I uh, hope everyone enjoys the image at the end of the video. I uh, hope you've got some, well, probably not going to get some out of the video, uh, but hope you enjoy the video at least. Uh, so on that note, take care everyone, please guys, and bye for now.